Ugh. I always get so nervous hitting record, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's get this video started. What's up guys? Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph. You can call me Joey. Joe, your choice. Well, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I've been doing a little bit of shopping within the last month or two and I just want to share with you guys what I got and I think it'd be cool. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm not doing this just to brag about what I bought. Just I want to show you guys. I want to share with you guys what I got. And hopefully you guys get some like inspiration to like buy something or whatever. But yeah, just small disclaimer. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Um, well, I went to a couple stores. I went to Cotton On, Goodwill, Adidas, um, a thrift store in Los Angeles, American Apparel, Lush, and Kmart too as well. So. I'm going to start with bottom, so let's go, we're going to start with Cotton On, let's start there. Well, I went to Cotton On recently and I needed some pants, so I picked up some pants and these are the first pair I bought, they're just some normal blue jeans from Cotton On that I roll up at the, that I roll up at the ankle and yeah, I already, I had these jeans already, but I just love them so much that I went back and bought another pair, so it's like, Hey, my, why not have more than one? It'd be cool, right? So, those are those. Um, and the next two pair of pants I bought was kind of really like out of my norm. I really don't really lean towards colored pants. It's usually just, I just stick to my blues and my blacks. So, it's kind of weird. So, I bought these pants from Cotton On as well when I was shopping in the outlets by Tone over there. It's like heading towards LA and I bought these like olive green pants. I don't know if you really could tell on the camera, but yeah, I bought these olive green pants. They're like they're weird because they're not really like a jean material, they're more like um like a chino pants material. They kind of have that material and I just you know what I wanted to step out of my boundary and I wanted to see, hey, try something new out, check it out. Plus they were for really cheap. I bought these for like ten dollars, so I was like, you know what, hey, ten dollars is not gonna hurt. Try them out, see if you like them. And I've already worn these twice and I absolutely love them. They feel so comfortable and they're so, excuse me, and they're so stretchy, but I love these. These are extremely stretchy and yeah, they're so comfortable. And I bought the exact same pants in a dark blue color as well. And I have not worn these yet, actually. These I have not been able to wear and I'm not quite sure how to wear them yet, but yeah. These were on sale as well for $10 and the original price for those two pants were 30 bucks, so hey, 10 bucks for pants, I say why not. So moving on to tops, I guess I'll just continue on with Cotton On. I absolutely, I absolutely love Cotton On. It's like if there's a store that I could shop at and I would, I know I will find something and it'll be Cotton On because they always have what I'm looking for. There's never a time when I go there and I, they don't have what I want. So yeah, so first I bought this green shirt and I bought two of them. There's one in black and one in green. And this is this is this one. It has there it's green. I worn this one already. <laughs> so yeah, it's green and it has this like cuff, this like rolled up sleeves and they're and they're gray, but they're like that, so I can't take them off. But I don't mind. I absolutely love it. And I got these for two for twenty five, I believe. And they're extremely good quality, like they're thick and they're not very thin material. So I know when I wash them, they're not really gonna shrink and they're not gonna like wear out of me really fast. So yeah, and I got the same one, like I said, I got the same one in the black, but this one has like little, like like white little specks on them. I don't know if you could tell on camera. But yeah, they have like little like white specks on them. And the only problem that I have with the shirt is when you wear it, if like, you don't have like an undershirt on, the little white specks kind of irritate me in a sense. I don't know, I don't know if I'm just being sensitive, but for me, they kind of irritate me, but I, other than that, after like a couple minutes of me wearing it, it goes away and I'm fine, but love it as well. Can never go on with simple black. Got those two. Um, another one I got was like this burgundy maroonish color one as well. It's, it's come, I feel like it's coming off kind of red on the camera, but got this burgundy maroon one as well. And it kind of has like a, it's kind of like cut this way in the bottom and it's pretty cool because it gives off that like long effect on you and I've been loving those kind of shirts right now and yeah so it has like a look and it has a pocket as well so that's pretty cool I like it and I got this one in a size medium because it is it is a lot bigger because it's longer so I got I got it in a size medium so that's cool that's that one and this one also has like the white little specks on them so again 
my sensitive cells gets irritated quickly and yeah but other than that wear it for a couple minutes and I get used to it another shirt I bought there I bought this striped one as well and I've been looking for a couple striped shirts and I found this one and I absolutely fell in love with it it's just simple it's white and well I thought when I bought it I thought the stripes were actually black but they're actually a blue so that's pretty cool I, I don't know it's okay I'll figure it out but other than that nice white shirt pretty cool the next shirt is was my favorite that I bought that day and it's this like greenish color like this army green color and I absolutely love it I haven't worn this one yet but I'm gonna wear it and it's nice and it has that material and it kind of feels like it's kind of distressed in a way but there's like no holes but it feels it has that like touch to it and I love the sleeves how they're kind of like stretched out and rolled up at the end you know like when, like a, if you cut up a shirt after like you want to use it to work out or something and you kind of uh, pull on it and it kind of rolls up it kind of has that thing on the edges of them and I absolutely love it and I got this one in a size large even though I'm a medium because I wanted it to have that like bigger effect on it and I love I love baggy clothes so yeah I got this one as well and I also got the shirt I'm wearing today I caught that day as well and it's just this simple it, it comes off kind of blue I don't know if it's coming off kind of blue on camera but it's kind of like a dark charcoal gray or blue, I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's, it's what it wants to be, so that's that. Well, moving on to American Apparel. I went to American Apparel a month, no, two months ago. And I've been, I was, before I bought the, the shirt from Cotton On, I went to American Apparel and I was looking for an actual striped shirt and I bought this striped shirt there and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it's extremely nice. I like it. It's, it's nice, just simple striped shirt. It's nice for the summer, wear with anything, it's cool. And then I went to Adidas as well, cause I needed, I needed some new workout stuff, like running stuff, cause all my shorts that I, were, that I was having, they were getting really worn out and I was not having it, I didn't, I was kind of over it. So I wanted new shorts. So I went and I bought myself these blue shorts and it's nice because they're just normal blue, but they have like a black stripe along in the back, which is really, really cool, I think. And I like it. And I also bought myself this hat as well. I already had this hat before, but I wore it so much that I ended up, ended up wearing out a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be. So I bought another one, exactly the same thing. It's like a dry fit hat. Super nice, super casual. like it. Um, let's move on to Forever 21. Um, I haven't shopped at Forever 21 in a while I, I stopped shopping there because i feel like their size their size in there it's kind of weird like some things fit me and some things don't and i could try on a large and one style shirt and i could try on a large and different style shirt and it won't be too tight it won't be too baggy so i just got tired of trying to find new things but i was there one day and i was looking through the sales rack and i found this sweater that i didn't know if i actually wanted to get it because it's way out of something that i think i would actually be able to wear and pull off so I said, you know what? It's on sale. Get it. It's cool. I got this simple sweater. It's like this mustard color, and I thought it was so nice. I follow this. I'm subscribed to this girl. Her name is Megan Hugh on on YouTube, and I have her on Snapchat. I think she's obsessed with mustard, and I think it's really really cool. And yeah, it was on sale for seven dollars. So I was like, you know what? It's not gonna kill me. Try it out. It's cool. That's what I got at Forever 21. Let's move on to Kmart. So, funny story. I was at Kmart and I was shopping there and after I, get, I got what I needed to get, I just was started, I started to walk around and I needed to buy a shirt for work. And I was there and I saw these two um, sweaters there and I was like, it was weird because I never, I would never have thought that Kmart would have had these kind of like sweaters or jackets and I absolutely ended up buying two and I was not even there to buy clothes. I was just there to buy products for myself and I ended up buying these two things and I fell in love. They're these jackets and they have like a windbreaker material and they feel extremely nice and I like them. They have, they're like gray on the inside and it's nice. It's extremely nice and I got one in black and I also got one in, in like an olive green one. I don't know, I've just, I've been loving olive green. It's been me, it's been speaking to me. So you know what, get it again. Also, gray on the inside. It's nice. I was like, you know what? Can't go wrong with this. And they were for super cheap as well. They're probably like $14 each. And I was like, you know what? They're nice. Get them. When are you ever going to find stuff like that again? So, I bought them. So, let's move on to Lush. So, 
Not long ago, I believe it was like two months ago or a little bit more over two months, I went to Vegas and I bought my first Lush products there while, while I was there because I needed, I started realizing that my face was breaking out a lot more than it did when I was in high school and I was not okay with that. I was like, you know what, I'm out of high school already, why am I breaking out? This is not cool, but I started, I wanted to get like some face masks and stuff, so I bought the little small ones when I was over there in Vegas and, and they were so good and I loved it so much so that I had to go and I bought some more stuff. So I went back, I bought two of them and these are it. The first one is Mask of Magmenti, I believe is what it says, but yeah, it's just this one right here. It's nice. I like it. It's nice. And it has, it's very minty and it's, I don't know, I like, I love it. I haven't, I use it like once or twice already, but it's so good. I use this on my body, use this on my face, and it, can, it leaves my face so fresh, and it's like, uh, I love it so much. The other one I got, I use this one mainly more for my body than I use it actually for my face. I use this one on my face probably like maybe once a week, and other than that, it's ma I mainly use this for my body because on my arms, I don't know if you can tell, I have like, it gets kind of red here, and it's, it feels like I have goosebumps all the time. That's the kind, that's how my arms are, and I'm kind of over it, and I've been using this lately, and it's been helping me a lot. So, I got this cup of coffee one and it's just like it's just like a scrub I feel like this is a lot more of a scrub and it just smells like coffee and as you guys know I am obsessed with coffee and I love it so much but yeah those are the two things I got from Lush those are nice I'll stick those down there okay um moving on to thrift stores I'll start with the thrift store I went in LA. I went to LA recently with my friends like about a month and a half ago and we had like a little weekend getaway there. We had fun, just, like looked around, went hiking, went out downtown. The next day before we came back, we stopped at a thrift store. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's the UCLA Thrift we stopped, we stopped by and I bought some sweaters there. And I get it, I know it's summer, but I can't stand the summer. I, I'm okay with it for like a day or two, then after that I'm over and I want it to be winter again. I just feel like I just, I love the winter so much more than I love the summer. But yeah, I'm that person that buys sweaters or crew necks at 100 degree weather and I won't care because, hey, I'm shopping for the winter, might as well do it during the summer so I don't have to waste more money during the winter. But yeah, so I went to UCLA Thrift and I bought some sweaters. The first one is a simple gray sweater and it's from the brand Felis. Yeah, and I got this one in a size, oh sorry, this is a size medium. Yeah, and it fits me really, really nice. It fits me kind of like more, um, it fits me a lot more, it's a lot more fitted than I actually would like it, but it's okay. This was for like, I think it was three bucks. I was like, you know what, hey, three bucks, not bad. So the next sweater I, I bought was this trainer jacket from Adidas. And when I found this, I absolutely fell in love. Like, I had to have it, and it was only $5. Really, $5 for this, it's, I believe it was a steal, and I absolutely love it. I love just the white line through the side, and I love the stripes that have them here, and it's cool. I, I was actually kind of iffy with the whole, like, almost like v-neck style to it, but I tried it on, and it fit me great, and I absolutely loved it. And for $5, you can't go wrong with that. That is a steal. The last thing I bought was this army green crew neck and I'm guessing, I'm not sure, I could be completely wrong, but I'm guessing that it used to belong to someone in the Marine Corps because it has this US Marine Corps thing on the side and then it also has a name and a number behind there. So it has a last name more and this I had to get and it was for $3 I believe and it's Nice because I feel like it's someone's memory. Like this, like someone wore this. Possibly, um, I could be wrong, but if it could be true, someone actually probably wore this, like probably during boot camp or something, or probably while they were in, while they were in service. So it's nice that I was able to find this and I was able actually to thrift this sweater. I absolutely loved it, and the color is amazing, and I don't know. I feel like it has a nice story to it. It's nice that I get to keep wearing it, and yeah. I bought this one, absolutely love this one as well. And the last store I went to, <laughs> the last store I went to was Goodwill. And I bought a couple things from Goodwill and this was probably one of my favorite, one of like almost my favorite finds and I absolutely love this. And I bought two sweaters and they're both like this trainer material. And the first one I bought was this Sports Illustrated trainer. 
sweater, jacket, whatever you want to call it, and I absolutely loved it. I found this and it has like a white stripe going through the middle of the torso, and it's nice. I liked it, and for six bucks, I feel like it was a complete steal, and I absolutely loved it. I can't go wrong. As you could tell, black is probably one of my favorite colors, and I wear it all the time, so I cannot go wrong with the trainer jacket whatsoever. You can, I feel like you can style this so much, layer it, and it'd be nice. The next one I bought was this Nike trainer jacket as well, of course, also in black, so I got lucky. And just this Nike jacket, it's nice, it has a Nike written on the back, and it has this thing in the back, I feel like it's so cool. I don't know, I loved it. And these both jackets are both extra large, so they have that baggy feel to it, which you guys know that I love as well, so I like it. It was nice. That would be everything for my haul today. I hope you guys like what I got. I will try to link all the things that I can down in the description box below. So I'll try to find them and link them all down below. Because I bought, I, this I all bought in person. I did not buy any of this online. So hopefully I can find it for you guys and can link it down below if you guys want to, if you guys want to buy it. So other than that, thank you so much for watching my first haul. I know that I'm probably going to look back at this video and I'm probably going to be talking really, really fast and I'm going to hate myself for it, but I'm learning. So other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my first collective haul. It was, I guess it was kind of a lot, but hey, it, it's something that I collected within the net within like the last two months. So I guess it wasn't that much if you see it that way. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you look down below the description box and you follow me on all my social medias. I'm just Joseph Adelman on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So make sure, also if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, Just comment down below which one of your favorite pieces was, and what's we'll our conversation. <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!